I played oh, zero Luigi's with Corey. Well, there you go. So we're both just so inexperienced. Yeah, we're, we're both and may the best player win. All right. S2H versus X Factor, Rob versus Diddy. I think <laughs> S2H actually has a really good Diddy from what he I've has seen. A great Diddy. Like, everyone knows him for his, his uh, Meta Knight, but his Diddy is nothing to sleep on. He has a really good Diddy and he has a really good Little Mac. His, his Little Mac, I would say, is the worst. And I think X Factor is a sweeper, like a little hidden boss. He's he definitely game three. We, I mean, he is from Inland Empire. That's where a lot of our sleepers are. <laughs> he has like a lot of good fundamentals that like a lot of local players do not like use. I mean, he has like and really he has great. He has great patience. That's it, exactly. He has great patience, and he's gonna wait you out, and he's gonna react accordingly. Same with S2H. Dude, this is gonna be wow. good. This is gonna be a lot of like switching backstage controls back and forth between both players. And there's, I highly doubt that one of these players is going to dominate the entire set. I, I completely agree. And I feel like stage control is really going to be dominated by whoever has their projectile out. If X Factor has his gyro out, uh, it's going to be, it's going to put S2H in a really interesting position with a lot of pressure on just having it out. And the same thing will go, the same thing is true for when S2H has the banana out. When S2H has the banana out, it's going to force Hex Factor to be in shield a lot more than he wants to be. So whoever has their their projectile on the stage, that's who's gonna have control. And that was that was a pretty funny. I'll be right back real quick. I need to like get a snack because I kind of feel like tired. I'll be right back. I'll oh, be back to commentate in like right in like um I need something that's like not just like something small. Okay, I'll yeah. be right back. Give me like All right, I'm gonna one minute. Now, so low. Unless my good friend Mr. DJ Raxus wants to jump on the mic. Alright, he doesn't want to. We're going to do a solo. Alright, like I was saying before, uh, whoever has their projectile is probably going to have stage control. Right now, Hex Factor has control, had control of the banana. And now neither projectile is out. Down smash catching S2H's roll. Banana coming to the save, but then S2H gets hit by the gyro. Up throw, not gonna kill. Wow. That line of attack from the gyro makes it really hard to S2H to recover. Oh my god, all these hitboxes coming out from both players. I cannot believe this. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. No, no, come here! Uh, yo, Lux. All right, so I'm going to be joined by Suplex Cities and every other crew in SoCal, Lux. How's it going, Lux? Yeah, don't forget every other crew in Kansas, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Shout out to Kansas for... Uh, oh, that's a good matchup right now. My, my boy, Lux, got, right here. Yeah, uh, S2H going with that Diddy Kong? Yeah, and uh, until recently, S2H was up an entire stock. Dang. But now Hex Factor has a bit of a road to climb. It's kind good. of been known to happen, I think, with the Rob Diddy matchup. It's kind of very, it's a volatile matchup. <laughs> because yeah, just kind of body I, each other. I, I don't really enjoy seeing Rob on the screen, but <laughs> when it's Rob Diddy, I think it's a very interesting match. Especially because Rob is so heavy, mm -hmm. and with all that rage, he's going to kill Diddy at like 50 or 60. Right. And the other thing, too, is just like, you know, Rob as a character is very streamlined, you know. You get the grab and then you uh, put the damage in. It's kind of very. <laughs> if you if you have a lead, if you have a lead with uh, with Rob, it's hard to get that back. I know? feel like this matchup is so rock paper scissors. It's, this might be like the definition of rock paper uh -huh. scissors. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got that scouted right there. We've been seeing just stage control go back and forth, left and right, right. and it's, it's all depending on on who has the momentum and who has their projectile. And we're talking about momentum. Uh, Hex Factor's got quite a bit of it right now. Oh, He's yeah. built up to 71. It's kind of like red alert. Oh my god, that's a deep fair. I don't know if I'll make it back if he goes down yeah, for it. Yeah, that was yeah. a bit of a questionable <laughs> call. So yeah, sometimes when you're that far behind, you just got to go for it. And if you die, it's OK, because you're going to die but anyway. he was winning. <laughs> well, no, like at that, no, that <laughs> one, he was down by a lot. No, he was. No, no, he was winning. Wait, I thought, had, I thought Hex Factor had two stocks, no? No, no, Diddy was winning. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought he was behind the whole time. 
Well, I mean, he, Hex Factor started building up momentum. Yeah. Which may have uh, put some pressure made on him. It, made it definitely. Oh put shit! A lot I of didn't mess up his count of the stocks. So I could have sworn that uh, Hex Factor. So had. it might have made S2H think that he needs to do something a little bit more. Right. Well, if he was behind, if he had the if he had the lead by that much, then no, he did not have to he do did, anything. He did not need to I do agree that. with that. All right. <laughs> Quality commentating right there. <laughs> Now that I'm here to start, oh, we got that, we got that, you know, tried and true out right now. Mask up, baby. Midnight action going on. Yeah, here we go. The true main. Hex I hope Hex Factor prepared himself. Right. <laughs> and right now, he's just kind of going back to work, you know, just controlling the stage. You know, it's, it's very, like, you know, very, very raw esque right? He's very willing to flow with the match. He controls the stage when he needs to. He retreats the ground when he needs to. He's kind of like, you know, very in sync and in tune with what then, you know, what he needs to be at that yeah, current point in time. He's just one of those players that's very in sync with his character. Right. And right now it's showing he's putting a lot of work on the uh, on the PR favorite, I would say, coming into this matchup, you know. And right now oh, he's, he's putting like the a work. Much, better <laughs> much better choice than Meta Knight right now. Yeah, he's putting in that work right now. Oh, there's some, that's very tricky. But I think the only option, like, you know, that I have is you know, that, those down airs. It's scary. And Even if that dare had landed, I don't, I'm pretty sure S2H would have made it no, back. Yeah, he would have made it back, but that's kind of like, you know, the disrespect. I've got yeah, so much momentum going you. on. Speaking of momentum, this could be big. Wow, really? Is it going to be enough? Not quite. That's interesting. Try to go for that old classic Rufio. <laughs> hey. Can't argue with the classic. Yep. <laughs> Now we're well, that was much, uh, a bit of a reversal from last game. Yeah. Where SWH had a bit of a lead, and now it is Hex Factor with that lead. Right. But will SWH be able to make that climb as Hex Factor did? But, uh. Oh, and that'll do it. SWH being a smart player, he was down by so much, and he's like only. You know, he's like one Meta Knight combo away from being right yeah. back into it. So he's done a very good job of, you know, minimizing the damage and getting himself right back into it. And now they're. Uh, SOH has that minimum rage. He's going to make all that extra hits now. It's going to make it a little bit easier to do those Meta Knight combos. Right. Oh, laser beams. Let's see if Hex Factor is able to put in some adaptations of its own because he was running away with it for a while. And, you know, there had to be a reason that he started out running away with it. Let's see if yeah. he can find that magic formula once again. And just kind of sticking to the, the gyro plays, not doing anything too crazy. Same thing for SWH, kind of short hopping in the corner, and waiting him out. This actually scares me because this is the point uh -oh. where uh, X Factor actually had. Wow. That was such it. a good play. The air dodge. <laughs> Somebody odd shot that. <laughs> Where's the Jiffy Cat? And just like game one, <laughs> the player who was down managed to bring it back. That see, but that's like that's funny because that's like the same play. That was the same exact thing <laughs> that happened in game one. Only difference is Meta Knight's gonna come back from that if he misses, unless Rob does Rob things off stage. That's, that's you know? true. Random Nair might be enough to close it out. Now let's see if X Factor is able to, you know, really adapt because he was ahead by a lot. You know, he was. Oh, we got some change up. Oh man, you're talking about a change up. Mm. It's a change to the meta a game up. right here. That's a, that's a curveball. Yeah. That's a. <laughs> they throw that pay to win at you. Right. Take this 599. But I had no idea that Hex Factor had a bayonetta. Well, we're about to find out if he does have a bayonetta. Let's uh, let's be skeptical to start, and then we'll see if he has, he has got to earn the right to have a bayonetta. You know what? Let's see what happens. I've I've definitely seen this red color before. Uh huh. But I can't remember if it was Hex Factor. Gotcha. It might have been after or something else. And now, uh, the one thing about this matchup is which time's gonna be huge because at pretty much any percent if. SWH gets wish time, he's gonna eat like 40-50%, right. if not lose the stock. I'm definitely oh, oh here we go. Oh. Welcome to FD. <laughs> Fortunately, SWH dropped the combo, missing the dash attack. Yeah, I think uh <laughs> oh, oh power. Right. I was about to say, uh SWH is about to give him, take him for a ride, but Bayonetta might have been too tall for the roller coaster. Uh, Bayonetta Speaking of roller coasters, <laughs> carrying him up to the top. This is uh both characters are so, you know, just volatile. They put in so much damage so quickly. And these are both heavy combo characters. Yeah. Wow. Short WR. Oh, speaking Knight. of heavy combos. That's, that's not going to do it quite yet. Not quite enough, but that's still that's still a lot of damage that's right a good there. Amount of damage, right. Yeah, he doesn't always have. Oh, wow. That's a really good juke right Draw there. Draw up B. Oh, not quite enough to kill. 
Oh, please, that's the rage. Oh, that shield button. All right, so I think it's, it might be safe to say that Hexfactor does, in fact, have a Bayonetta. Yes, he does. Because, <laughs> oh, not quite enough to kill. But you know what? Maybe, maybe S Switch has figured it out. And the reason that he's uh, losing his first stock, and may in fact lose his first stock very soon, is so that he can just run it back next stock right. and win the game. That seems to be the theme of this set. That's, that kind of might be a dangerous percent. I don't know if, uh, you know, Bayonetta can do the kill confirms off a lot of the stuff now just because of the percentage of this high. I actually haven't seen it. I'm not too familiar with the DLC. I just, you know, I literally downloaded them yesterday. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh, okay. Well, at this percent, uh, F-Throw is going to kill. Back to is going right. to kill. Wow. That was dangerous. Oh, a uh, little oh. spaghetti right there. X-Factor really just <laughs> giving away, giving SOH another chance. And that's yeah. He kind of went for a little bit too much with it. It's one of those situations where you just gotta, you know, kind of tap them and kill them, just ending Great in their general down. direction. Chasing down the roll. How is Hex Factor ever gonna? Let's see how pivotal it? that is, because that's like that could be a crucial, like, critical point in the matchup. That's like, if if SH is able to take this stock right now, that's such a huge just swing from what it could have been. He could have had Hex Factor running with the lead. Then you have uh, Estevez working, uh, you know, with some rage with Meta Knight too. Yeah. A little bit of scary. And honestly, Bayonetta with a. Uh, with Rage. Feels like Meta Knight with Rage. Oh, uh, there we go. Swing. There's that swing. Gets the kill. At this percent, S2H will still uh, lose his stocks to f -Pro. Oh, my God. Here we go. The roller coaster time. Oh, the old school. Not second, quite enough. Second hit. Not connecting for S2H. But that was 41%. That was like the uh, 399 DLC combo <laughs> right there. Not the 599. And wow. <laughs> great mash from S2H. Hexfactor did not need to pummel that much. He really should have just thrown him out. All right, we're in there. We got last stocks. Oh, they're calling my match. I gotta, go. I gotta play my match, but <laughs> I'm gonna stick around. They got five minutes on that DQ roll, so I'm sticking it out. Okay, this could be big right now. Whenever uh, Bayonetta is recovering like that, you, you can meet her and try and get her, especially Meta Knight gotcha. with all those jumps. I definitely would have ch uh, challenged one of those upbeats with an air. Because if you land and just put um, Bayonetta in a certain position, just a little bit closer, it's going to make right. it very, that much harder to recover. And you know, both players are probably looking for that one critical neutral exchange where it's like, oh, I got you, and it's game over. Now, I don't know if, uh, if X-Factor can get the zero to death on S2H right now, uh -huh. especially with S2H only having 79%. Right. Oh, that's good air dodge read. Not quite on the shuttle loop, though. Very good roll right there. Yeah, good roll reading that dive kick. The runaway. <laughs> Dare, instead of opting to grab. Hey, it doesn't seem too familiar, because like a lot of those things I know that he's able to like just, you know, out of shield hit like the, the side special on the ground when it hits a shield. He's Meta Knight, he's gotta run that down and just put the work in. Oh, I thought he was going for that dimension cape right there. Dimensional cape and Shuttle loop out of shield, the old school. And okay, S2H. Oh, there you go. Well, that, that, let's that, see how costly uh, that, that is. That tricky S2H. Can't really tell what he's going for anymore. Oh, uh, Hexfactor might have second guessed himself a little bit right there. He got that side B uh, hit confirm on the side B too. And he just did not follow up. Oh uh, wow, yeah, man. he was feeding for the dash attack, but it never came. You see the witch time and neutral a couple times. Just didn't get it, and that's a good solid win for S2H. Looks a little. A little shaky at the start, but he clutched yeah. it out. Uh